right guys, today we're gonna go ahead and do a taper fade on the back of a female's hair, better known as a undercut on a female. So the first thing I did was grab my wall senior and I flipped it around as if I was using an outliner and I'm just going straight across. I'm just carving out a hard line going straight across. And that's just gonna basically, I guess, skin it out um, as much as it can. Uh, it's basically a zero. Um, that's basically what I did. Um, and we wanna make sure it's nice and clean, guys. Make sure you go straight across and make sure that you clean the area thoroughly. Uh, the next clip we're gonna go ahead and grab is our 1 16th on our wall senior. And we're just gonna create a bar, okay? I like to call that the 1 16th bar, the one bar, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just creating a bar and that's gonna be a guidance uh, from the fade to the fade. So what we usually do, well, what I usually do when I'm fading is I work my way from the biggest clip down to the smallest clip. So what I'm doing here is just creating a guide. So when I grab the bigger clips and work my way down to that actual guide that you see right here. So I'm making sure it's nice and clean, making sure it's straight. Uh, don't go too crazy, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because we're blending that out anyway. It really doesn't matter how straight that is. Um, and just make sure that you clean it up real nice. All right, guys. The next clip I'm gonna go ahead and grab is the number two on the wall senior, better known as a one fourth. And what I'm gonna do is clear out the bulk. I'm holding up uh, her hair with the comb, just making sure I don't, uh, you know, go into her fresh hair that she has on top. I don't wanna make it shorter. And as you guys can see that little triangular part right there, we're leaving that natural, guys. A lot of people, when they do this undercut, they usually carve that out, but this particular client does not want to carve that out. So what we're doing is flicking the wrist and making sure that we're not going too high um, into that part of the hair. All right, guys, now we're working our way from that clip and we're gonna work our way down. Uh, the next clip I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab is the one and a half. Okay, guys, flick your wrist uh, and as you get higher, open the lever. Because when you open a lever, it eventually goes into that previous clip, which was the one fourth, and it kind of turns into that clip, if that makes sense. So as I get higher, if I open my lever, I, I have nothing to worry about. I won't make the hair shorter if I open up the lever. Okay, guys? So I'm just working my way into that. All right, uh, you know, making sure it's nice and clean, as you guys can see, holding the, the axis hair up with, uh, with the comb, okay? I don't want to take off any new hair, any fresh hair. All right, guys? Next clip I'm going to grab is my 1 16th. What I did was I skipped one step, one clip because her hair is pretty thin and it cuts pretty good. So what I did was I just went down straight down to that 1 16th, 1 16th clip, which was that one bar that I made earlier. But I slightly opened it up and uh, faded into the previous clip. So I didn't have to use the clip that was before that. Um, so we just kind of just blended right into it. Didn't even matter. Her, fa her hair fades pretty good. So I didn't need that extra clip that goes in between uh the uh two and the one half one and a half okay so we're just making sure it's nice and clean making sure it's nice and blended and then after that we're going to jump down to our zero and we're going to slightly open the zero up a little bit and we're going to blend out that hard line that we did in the beginning of the haircut okay guys so right now i'm just going over my work making sure it's clean making sure it's nice and blended um and uh you know flicking my wrist as i get higher if you flick your wrist what that's doing is basically making sure you don't go high anymore. All right, 116th is off. And now I'm just blending out that hard line, taking my time, shorter strokes, uh, not as hard as, uh, as as far up as we were going before. Very, very short strokes, as you guys can see. I'm opening the lever as I get a little bit higher, um, and I'm just flicking my wrist. All right, guys, and there you have it. A nicely blended taper. Again, we are leaving the top part nice and uh, natural uh, we are not doing a hard part up there in the triangular part all right i'm just going over my work just making sure it's clean making sure it's blended uh, very lightly going into the haircut I'm not going too crazy uh next thing we're going to do is go ahead and line that up grab the t outliner and i'm just lightly lining it up she is a female i don't want to make it too you know hard of a line so i'm just going nice and light not going in anymore um, you can see our hair is uh, light right there. I don't want to make any sharp, sharp, sharp lines. Uh, we're going to use the straight razor to make that, you know, a little sharper. Same thing on this side. I'm going to just make sure it's nice and lined up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn around that T-outliner and kind of continue to blend it out a little bit more um, with the T-outliner, you know, following that zero clip, uh, but not too high. Just making sure her neck is nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and grab some Easy Blade Shaving Gel. 
um, clear non-foam shaving gel so I can see what's going on when I use my straight razor. Just gonna use a straight razor lightly, not too much. Uh, I don't wanna make any hard, hard lines. Uh, try to keep it as feminine as possible. Uh, and that's about it, guys, and that's what you got. So we have a female neck taper, better known as an undercut. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Easy Blade shaving product videos. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.